Thanks so much for staying with us on this Friday evening. What an evening it was to uh, head out and catch uh, numerous state line activities outdoors. We heard of a few of them, such as the Phantom Regiment show of shows. Boy, if you haven't seen that yet, you got to put that on your bucket list. It really, really is a treat and what a perfect night it was for the performance out there at Boylan High School. Temperatures tonight, uh, today during the daytime anywhere between 75 and 80 degrees. The thing that has been the bigger difference here between yesterday and today, we've gotten rid of all the humidity. Dew points, I have climbed a little bit here into the lower and middle 60s, but the humidity levels will continue to drop now that we have a more well-established northwesterly wind blowing at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, importing cooler and drier air. Max Storm Tracker, as expected, the showers which were very widely scattered in nature this afternoon afternoon kind of look like little pieces of popcorn uh, dotting the radar across much of the western Great Lakes. Uh, once sun goes down, we lose all the instability in the atmosphere. The showers go away. The clouds go away uh, with them. Still just a tiny scattering of showers. We haven't lost uh, the most intense ones from earlier on. They're still holding together, but really no danger of any more activity reaching us. This is part of an area of low pressure that is swirling off to the north and east of us now. We just get a little spoke of energy on the back side of it. Uh, but again, the area of low pressure itself is moving far enough away that I don't think we have to worry about any more precipitation the rest of the night tonight or at least through tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day if you are wondering when to get the yard work done, maybe mow the lawn. Boy, I know my lawn is mo uh, growing quickly. Uh, Saturday's the day to do it because there's no way weather's going to get in our way. Sunday, Monday, there could be some minor uh, interruptions here. Not so much that I anticipate a ton of rain during the day on either of these two days. We could have rain uh, overnight the night before or early in the morning. Could leave the uh, ground a little soggy or the grass a little soggy, make it a little more difficult uh, to mow. Nonetheless, as we go into our Saturday, whatever fog that we have in the early going will burn off very, very quickly, and we've got quite a bit of sunshine expected. I'm not going to entirely rule out a brief sprinkle, but nothing more than that. Sky is clear tomorrow evening. Eventually, clouds will increase here overnight tomorrow night, and by the early stages of Sunday, that's when a slightly more organized complex of showers and thunderstorms could move through. Notice, though, we are not looking at an all-day washout. In fact, I think we'll have plenty of dry hours. I think we'll have a good amount of sunshine and nice warm temperatures on Sunday, uh, maybe three, four degrees warmer than those here today. But then we cloud over again here Sunday night into early Monday morning. That's when another round of some showers and thunderstorms may move through, but kind of the same story then on Monday, plenty of dry hours, a good amount of sunshine, nice, pleasant temperatures. So really, if it works out just like this, this is probably a best case scenario where we get to enjoy dry days and get a little beneficial rainfall during the nighttime hours, but nothing overly heavy, nothing that should uh, majorly exacerbate the flood situations on our uh, rivers, which again, of course, the no wake has been reinstated uh, in uh, Winnebago County. Tomorrow, highs reach the upper 70s, 79 degrees is the high temperature, uh, then 83 here for three straight days. Now, I know that 60% chances of rain, that kind of looks a little ominous. It's not as bad as it looks. Again, most of this is going to come uh, overnight or uh, very early in the day. And so uh, the daytime hours look good and kind of the same story here then for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just some hit or miss storms here or there. Uh, then things will turn a little hotter here as we get toward the end of next week and next weekend. We may see the return of 90 degree temperatures. So Ooh. you give the AC a break now because I think that we're going to be needing to throw it back on here again uh, sooner rather All than right. later. Take advantage now. Yes. Definitely. Thanks, Mark. Still to come in sports, some former Ice Hogs have found their next teams after hitting the free agent market. Find out where they're headed coming up. Plus, a Cubs.